In more local coverage tonight, it was a controversial vote on what to do with millions of dollars. And today, the State Planning Council voted on funding for pedestrian and bicycle projects. They approved an amendment that takes money from the initiatives and moves it to repair roads and bridges. Eyewitness News reporter Brandon Truitt was at the meeting. He joins us now with a breakdown of what the money is being used for. It's a hotly contested measure, putting people on one side or the other. There are those who want funds specifically for bikes and pedestrians and others who see a broader investment in the middle, a decision of whether or not to cut $37 million. The motion carries 18 to 1. In a Thursday morning meeting, the state's planning council overwhelmingly approving an amendment to RIDOT's 10-year spending plan. There is, has been some misunderstanding of the facts. RIDOT Director Peter Alvitti responding to weeks worth of concern from state lawmakers and voters. Many worried cutting the $37 million from the state's transportation alternatives program will decrease improvements to bike and pedestrian projects statewide. I'm a bike commuter. I've been hit by cars four times in the state. And um, I think, you know, in order to invest in safety, we need to carefully consider these cuts. Alvidi argues there's an increased investment in pedestrian and bike projects. The money is just coming from a different place. A total of $200 million over the next 10 years, that's up roughly $12 million a year from previous budgets. The department is committed to maintaining a reasonable investment in bicycle and pedestrian path funding with a special interest in providing bike paths in urban areas Alvidi adds current road and bridge renovation projects already have walking and biking elements considered. State Representative Teresa Tanzi isn't buying it. She's worried this move will make it harder to track spending. We don't have the ability. If he's not calling it TAP, then how do we know where that money is going, how that money is being spent? I see no reason. Representative Tansy says she's not done fighting. She's requested a formal meeting with RIDOT to discuss other solutions. Brandon Truitt, Eyewitness News.